Hey guys, I'm Matthew Burt, and this right here is the ringneck snake. So this is actually a snake that you're likely to see right in your own backyard. They're fairly common, not only here in Florida, but pretty much all over the United States. Uh, there's different subspecies of this snake, but yeah, they're very, very common. One of the most common snakes around. And they're also one of the most friendly, most docile uh, snakes you can come across. They're fairly small. This is, um, even this one, this is a pretty tiny one. They can get up to 10, 15 inches long. That's about the average that I've seen, but there are uh, records of them getting up to even 30 inches, which is a very big uh, ringneck snake. Now, these guys you're not gonna see mostly moving about like some other snakes. Uh, they're mostly hiding up under logs and rocks and spend most of their life underground. They're what you call a fossorial snake, which means they stay mostly under the surface in the soil. Um, and you're probably thinking, what does a tiny snake like this eat? Mostly insects other little bugs maybe like little centipedes and earthworms are one of their favorite prey items and uh normally they're not too much bigger than an earthworm and they'll also eat small snakes small frogs and tiny little lizards if they run into them and mostly how they subdue their prey is with their venom that they got they actually have some venom even though it's very mild to a person it's pretty much only powerful enough to kill their small prey and you're very unlikely to even be bitten in the first place because these guys have very small mouths and small fangs, um, which it would be very hard for them to bite you and puncture the skin. And these guys are just really friendly, so they're not even gonna attempt to bite you likely in the first place. So yeah, generally speaking, very harmless little guys, one of the safest little snakes to handle. Uh, a lot of people keep them as pets because of that. One of the reasons I really like these snakes is because their colors. They're very pretty. They not only have that orangish red ring around their neck, which gives them their name, but if you flip them over, they have that same color all over their belly. Um, they'll actually use that as a threat display against predators to scare them off. Because bright colors in nature normally mean toxic, like venom or poison. They'll curl up their tail, show their underside, and sometimes it'll frighten them away. Um, and the rest of their body, they appear black at first, but when they shine the light, they're this beautiful iridescent kind of silvery color. Uh, they're very cool, um, very neat snake. All right guys, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and hopefully you learned something new about this pretty cool little snake. And so yeah, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe to support the channel. And so yeah, I'll see you guys next time.